Hi friends, happy Tuesday. I'm here in front of my son that you and I made yesterday during our art project. Now today I am going to show you how to make a snail out of our coffee filters that we learned how to make a couple of weeks ago or last week. I'm not keeping track of time these days. Um, we had a coffee filter project that we did. I made a video on how to make these. Um, these are pretty simple. You can either use a coffee filter, um, a paper towel, or tissue paper, so I'm told by a parent. Um, you can make a circle and you can design whatever you can see where I've marked on here. It was folded in half when I sprayed it and I sprayed directly on the pattern that I drew onto my coffee filter. So we are going to use these coffee filters. Go ahead and make your own and come back and we can get started on the cutting of the snail part. We are going to make a snail and this is going to be his shell. So go ahead and get your materials, make a coffee filter, <clears throat> spray it down, let it dry. You can speed up the drying process with a blow dryer, but I would suggest letting these just hang out and dry on their own. The blow dryer kind of spreads the pattern apart. So go ahead and get these started and meet me back so we can cut out our snail. Okay, so what I have in front of me is my paper that I'm going to use for the snail's body. I'm going to take my dried coffee filter and put it on the paper. It doesn't need to be completely on the paper. We are going to use the paper mostly to make our snail drawing and this guy is gonna be the shell so it doesn't need to be completely on the paper. We just want some of the construction paper on the back of it so that it's being supported by the snail and the coffee filter isn't flopping back and forth. So I am going to glue this on my paper. I chose stick glue because I feel like the liquid glue will just go right on through that coffee filter. Now I have a little bit of paper showing on the sides. That's okay, I'm gonna cut that off. Okay, now that that is glued, I'm going to start making my snail shape. So I'm going to start by its bottom make kind of a slithery little texture there. Alrighty, so I have made my snail shape and the shell is on there with the paper poking out. Now we are going to trim around the shell as well as the snail that we just drew. Okay, now I'm gonna clear my space. I have a couple of pencil marks on my snail that I'm going to erase. All right, so my snail is all glued and cut out. 
I have another scrap paper here that I'm going to make his antennas with, his feelers, to go on top of his head. And after I'm done gluing and cutting and doing all of that, I'm going to make a face. So for the feelers, they're just going, you know what, you don't even need your pencil. We're just going to cut strips, really skinny strips. One. And two. Now I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to wrap this around my pencil to give it a whirly twirly look. <clears throat> We're rolling this around our pencil to give it some bounce. And that's going to be his antenna, one of them. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Twist it and let it go. And now it's all bouncy. Now I'm going to glue these to the back of my snail's head. Take my marker and now I'm going to make his face. All right, guys, she's all done. She has her antennas and a pretty little face. I hope you liked this craft. We will meet back tomorrow to do another one. Have a good day, guys.